Hey everybody, welcome back to the Family Mart Podcast. I'm Chris. And, and I'm, I'm Jay. Welcome, welcome back. back. Shout out to lovely Elaine and Harsha for being our new patrons. Patreon.com slash Family Mart Pod to get access to bonus episodes and our Discord. We're going to start it off like this. Who's here? Who here is getting veneers? Not me. But would you guys get some? No. Nah. No. You, no. You don't ever see people with some and you're like, you know, that's pretty nice. That's I pretty thought t- Timbaland's veneers looked pretty good when he got them. Because his teeth, the before picture was crazy. The only way I would get veneers is if my my teeth are done for. Yeah. So dentures. Yeah. Well, what's the difference between dentures and veneers? Veneers, they, they put it over your tooth, but they have to shave your teeth down so there's room for your the veneer to go in. But I'm sure they've come up with a, a new way to do it without having to shave them down, right? Nah. Well, yeah, if you go to Atlanta and get it done by those randos that paid 1200 for a certificate. Oh, no, nah, but those make it look like like marshmallows. Those yeah. are like bulky. Because they're not, they're not shaving down. So the you're saying down. Timbo's veneers are, they've been shaved down and they put some new ones over it. Yes. I've seen some really nice veneers in person. But it was for like people that had like car accidents and stuff. Yeah, they have like no teeth, so they just give them... Yeah, I have seen those those videos of where people like they just find random people with messed up teeth mm-hmm. and they'll bring them into their office and give them veneers and they their smile completely changes. You could tell that they have veneers, but the before and after is like night and day. Yeah, because like yeah. getting the veneers, it'll like or not just veneers, fixing your teeth in general just completely changes your face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like the structure and everything. I wonder what I'd look like with like a good smile. Well, you do have a good smile. I like natural looking teeth. Oh yeah? Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> <laughs> I give y'all veneers every fucking time I do the thumbnail. Every week when y'all smile, I give y'all veneers. Well, I'll take a teeth whitening, but yeah. I'm saying I don't need I don't think I would do veneers if given the chance, even if they were free. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I wouldn't either, man. Yeah, I'm I not just, trying to do that. Well, where did you where, what what made you think of that? I just saw it and it was, it was just like I just, I saw a take and it just said someone so said something like I think veneers like look terrible, like just in general. And me and Jess talk about it sometimes like, would we get veneers? And just like it, it changes kind of like the character of who you are, in yeah. a way. Yeah, because it's not your; those are not your original teeth. There's I mean, a you could just confidence. tell. Does it what a certain confidence you get, or what? Oh, I think so. I think if you, I think if you were never confident in your smile and you get veneers, oh, I I'm think smiling all the time. Yeah, yeah. That's how I felt after. I got my braces off. I could not stop smiling. What if I smiled and when I smiled, only my bottom teeth showed? Then maybe you should get some. Wait, but but even if you, you look like a dinosaur, even if you got veneers, that might not fix your smile, your weird smile. But you see the people that do veneers just on the top, but their bottom teeth are fucked. I've never seen that. I've That's seen a that. move. Yeah. Most people just get the top done because you don't really see your bottom teeth like that. Hmm. Here, well, here's a, here's a great way. Here's <laughs> sorry. If I just, you got I, veneers, fuck you. Whoa, dude. dude, dude no, nah, I'm not standing with that. <laughs> if you got veneers, maybe you got maybe maybe you got an accident. I didn't even think about that. That yeah. That it's because I'm thinking most people get them for. Well, I guess it is cosmetic, but yeah. I guess uh, when people hear of like um, cos- cosmetic or plastic surgery, most of the time it's. You you think of like breast enhancement? Or, well, no, <laughs> no, I'm like, thinking like veneers. You know, like yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It, you don't nose need, bridge. Yeah. Well, I guess you would need some teeth to chew on something. Like if you got in an accident and you lost like seven teeth. Yeah, like you kind of need eat teeth. A straw. Yeah. You need teeth to to chew, right? Or maybe you don't. Everything. I think it affects. I think teeth affects your breathing. Yeah. Chewing, obviously. Uh, talking. Well, I just personally wouldn't do do the veneer because of the fact that I know what they're doing before. Like yeah, if, I, if I wanted to get my teeth taken, like my veneers taken off, I'm a I'm a I'll be out here looking like Beetlejuice or something, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it does yeah. look scary. Would you rather yeah. have them shaved down or just taken out completely? Like, well, if I needed to get veneers, yeah. like knock them out. Yeah, oh, or yeah, man, just because oh. that's what people with dentures have. They they don't have any teeth. Yeah, I'm I'm saying if my teeth were fucked up enough to where I'm, you know, need to get veneers or dentures, yeah, just take my teeth out and, and hook me up with some with some permanent dents that sounds so painful dude it do man. removing your teeth that have no problem yeah i just feel like i don't know man just now that i know how because at first i was like yo i might want some veneers yeah because they look people have good smiles and um yeah they got some good smiles and then i looked at um i looked at a tiktok 
And then the people were doing veneers that weren't supposed to be doing veneers. And I see what what they're doing is messing up their teeth. And then real veneers, they got to like shave your teeth down. I guess the people that regret them, I guess you could say that they look in the veneer view mirror and say, I wish they could change it. <laughs> Stop the show. Veneer view mirror. Stop bro, the that's show. That's not even good joke. Why are you laughing? Were you saying Tim Timberlands looks good or it looks off? I think they look good. Oh, they look good from the Google images. Were you waiting for my opinion to have one? No, no, just asking. I forgot your take from earlier. No, I think they look good. Yeah, they look good. They look fake for show, sure, but they look good. Yeah, fake good. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. Uh, if you got veneer shouts to you, like. <laughs> That's not what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, you literally ago. just said F you. Nah, like if that's what you want to do, that's cool, whatever. But just like I personally, for me, because I know what they would, you know, what they do, I'm good. Yeah. Wait, okay. what were you saying you saw on TikTok? You saw people that weren't supposed to get some still get some? So like people were were like paying some, someone like 1500 or I don't know, five grand or whatever to get a certificate. And they get the, these veneer kits and they're just going out there charging people like a thousand bucks oh, to put veneers on but they're not doing it the correct way you're supposed to do veneers mm. yeah so like there's people that in like a few months they're like they need their shit taken off and when they get taken off their teeth are fucked mm. permanently yeah so like and and then i've been hearing that when people do veneers it's supposed to be it's like something you want forever so like I, I believe so because I know they have to shave the sides of your teeth down so they could in the front a little bit to fit it there because there's a little bit of a um, you heard my wheeze no I just saw your pinky oh. and <laughs> <laughs> there's a little bit of like a millimeter a millimeter mm -hmm. <laughs> or two that needs the space so that your teeth fit perfectly some people they put them on they can't even put their lip over their, their teeth no more yeah it looks just, like they got like piano mouth yeah look like horses <laughs> Some people with the veneer get like a little horse facey. Yeah, like I just, I'm cool, man. Like I know it's I got gotta, a gap in my teeth. It's got to be done right. Yeah, like I'd rather get braces before I get veneers. Like this. Would you get gap. braces again? Yeah. yeah. Oh, braces? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> what I, I would get uh the clear joints. Clear Invisalign? view. Invisalign. Yeah, Invisalign. Clear yeah. view. I don't know. Clear view mirror. Yeah. Yeah, I would do that instead yeah. of the braces. Because the braces, man, I would always like hit my lip on accident somehow, and it gets stuck. Yeah, but it's the most efficient because you're never taking them out. Yeah, it's, it's the fastest healing. Or not fastest. It's the fastest way to redemption. Yeah. Because I used to have a real, like, after I had my braces, my, 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 my smile, my teeth were perfect. But you didn't wear the retainers. I didn't wear the retainer, so it's, now I got gaps and shit. How yeah, long did it take after removing your braces that your teeth reverted back? They, they didn't revert back. They just uh, started the, the gap I got in the middle. Reverted forward. They were just reverted to the gap. Got it. It was like just a couple months after. Oh, that's So they fast. did revert because you said, you said they no, did no, no. revert. I got a gap. I didn't have a gap before. My teeth were just buck tooth. Like oh, this. okay. Gotcha. So, so they, they just, they made, they made a new lane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Essentially. Yeah. They just, they extended just extended the freeway. Did one of those. But you never had that before. It was just messed up. Nah. I, I got a gap right here, and every time I sip a straw, my lip gets stuck. But I think that's what makes you who you are. Yeah. Yeah, like 50 Cent with the gap tooth. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. imagine if you didn't have the gap right now. Maybe you'd be less funny, dude. Like, Michael Strahan, like, could you imagine him without a gap? Oh, I could not. Nah. It's like, if he signature. got veneers out of nowhere, you're, you're going to know. It's kind of like Anthony Brow Davis. Like, you mm. know, like, he if he move, removes that, it's kind of like. You're not the same. That's but true. I guess it just depends on who knows you now and then who knows you after. Because I'm sure the people that know Michael Strahan after he gets the veneers, like, they, if they only know him with veneers, he looks normal to them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but Michael Strahan got a crazy gap, though, compared to mine. It's like, it's out there. But imagine he started, he, like, he got his teeth, his gap uh, closed before he went to the NFL. Then people think that's his it's, normal. Yeah, normal. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. It's it really just depends on who knows you now and then who knows you after. Cause yeah, that's a good call. I feel like my that's gap ain't that big enough to where if I if it were to close up, people really won't know. Notice the difference. It, I think we I think we would like yeah. if you secretly got braces or something and we didn't see you for a year and then yeah. you came back. I'm definitely noticing. Do you remember him as uh, pre braces? Nah. Y'all don't want to see that. Joint. I don't remember. What? Why didn't you continue with the retainers? Just to? It just. It was just like a, too annoying. Yeah, you know, I had my braces for a mad long, like four years. Yeah. So when I got them off, I was like, man, I still got to do the retainer game. But you didn't. You weren't scared of your teeth 
going back to what they were? Honestly, I didn't even really understand that process when I was young. I think I just I didn't I didn't really like going to the dentist. So I don't really listen to these people when, when yeah. I'm there. I'm just like my That's parents right. did everything, and I'm just there. Like even when I got snipped. I just didn't listen to nothing. I was just showing up to these meetings that my parents had to do with a doctor, put put the gown on me, put the uh put give me my cap, put me to sleep, wake up, no cap. You know what I mean? Yeah, you graduated. Yeah. So like I didn't even really pay attention to, you know, none of that. I just, yeah, there's not enough education from maybe the dentist. I just too scared. I don't yeah. know. They're kinda giving it to you like raw. I don't listen to that, man. When I was younger, now I do. But when I was younger, I was just like, "Yo, just take my yeah, body and do you it would, with but you." But you, but you would think though, I guess, yeah, because you're paying for it now. Like back then, your parents were paying for it, yeah. so you weren't really listening. But now, the fact that you're, it's coming out of your own pocket. You listen right. to whatever the like. You'll go there as I'm, often. Yeah, as, I'm listening. Yeah, tell me what to do, so I don't have to pay you more. Yeah, yeah. We need a edu- We need more educational cartoons. Like imagine if like SpongeBob was saying like, make sure you keep your braces on. Oh wow! I probably would, yeah. Or you're gonna look stupid later. Like I would, yeah. Oh yeah. I would definitely listen. Wear your retainer, you little uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to that. I feel that. I definitely wear my retainers every night. You still wear retainers? Oh, every night. Every night. You still have like a checklist for the things you do, like to wind down at night. I don't. Um. (laughs) Sorry. It's. I don't have a physical checklist, but I do have things that I have to do. Yeah. It have, feels like a checklist as you're doing it. Like, yeah. Ding, like ding, I know exactly ding. everything that I have to do before I can wind, like before I can get into bed. Yeah. It don't matter what, what time of day. It don't matter how crazy the night has been. I need to get one of those. What if you take a nap? You're throwing the retainer on? <laughs> nah, it's All only right. at night. Okay. Just checking. Yeah. I'm brushing my retainers. I'm flossing. Toothbrush. Tooth. Wait, is that fob? I brush my teeth. Toothbrush. Wash my face. Shower. Scrape mm-hmm. your tongue. Scrape my tongue. Yeah, you got to put on my retainers. Team. I got yeah, you got I got to do that. I feel like everybody does, right? I got I actually just my, the skincare joint you gave me. Oh, how's it going? It's it's going good, man. Like I'm breaking out a little bit, okay. but I think that's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get do something different, well, you get a little smile like you set me up. No, I think you look good. <laughs> I, I think was, you look good. Okay, I thought you was, I thought you was, <laughs> he set you up, man. Yeah, I was like it's working. He's no, like, I, he, I'm smiling. Babe, well, it's working. <laughs> We're, nah, we're not, fucking them if up. I'm gonna sabotage you, I don't, I'm not gonna attack your face. That's messed up, dude. That's actually a good way to sabotage someone you don't fuck with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get their make them insecure, face. dude. <laughs> that's diabolic, dude. But nah, it's it's fire. Like it feels good. It smells good. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. it's like it's breaking you out though. It's breaking me out. Like, just nah, just a little bit. At this one, I like broke out a little bit, and I just, I went in. I was like, yeah. You're yeah. a picker. I was a picker, yeah. But for anyone trying a new face routine, you should expect to break out a little bit. Yeah, I'm expecting that. As well as all the products we got you are Asian. Yeah, so, I smell like so an Asian I story. feel you, and I do subscribe to that. But the also, thing? yeah, because I've gone through that several times. We both have. Mm-hmm. But then I think about, and I know not everything is similar to the gym, but I think about like, imagine that was, the, that was how it is for the gym. Would it make sense if you go to the gym and to expect to get a little bit bigger before you get a little bit smaller. Um, Is that a fair comparison or not? F- maybe when they talk about diet with the gym or no. Like you just expect to get, just to gain a little bit and then you're going to start tapering down. It's a crazy, it sounds crazy. Cause we don't use that. that we don't use that concept for or principle for anything else. But I think the, the gym is not like a, um, like a, bacteria to chemical reaction happening that's so like you, muscle so we should accept the fact that if you're trying out a new face routine you're you are it's normal to break out and then and then get clean i think so should we just say yeah to that because that don't seem right mm-hmm. yeah it's, and it, it is kind of it's kind of criminal to just like expect to break out a little bit for this to then clean you well later. we'll see how it goes if i just c- break out completely then this, this oh yeah then that's obviously yeah, the wrong direction probably, yeah we're in the wrong direction but again i've subscribed to that though like when when i was trying to find the right routine every but all the pro- like all the people reviewing it all the even some some of the manufacturers that were like if this is your first time using this just expect the road's gonna be a little bumpy and then you can get clear, but like, but why? You, you gotta, you gotta put the um the disclaimer though sometimes in case someone really does have that. I think they are. Yeah, I'm saying some of not them, everyone some, got the same face. No, no, for sure. But I'm saying some some companies would put that on their thing. But like, why though? 
You got to let them know. It's probably it, like a pH balance thing yeah. on your face. I'm saying, why does it? Ha- why do we have to break out first before it gets clean? I think it's your body getting used to like, oh, what the hell is this? And then it's trying to get used to you. Mm, I it, feel you though. You, it, you're like, you got to ask these questions sometimes. Yeah. Like when you get a jab, like expect to get sick and then. Yeah. Then yeah, you're better. Then you're better. Or like if you're going to start smoking cigarettes, just know, don't do it if you're pregnant. No. Well, I I fuck with the disclaimer, but yeah. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I can't say no to that. This, uh, yeah, we should not promote that. It I was guess. hella silent. <laughs> <laughs> You're really thinking outside the carton. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's all good, man. It's you know good. who else was thinking outside the carton? If you guys are you guys familiar with the teacher or the former teacher that was on TikTok? Showing himself getting his braids undone by his students, and then ultimately he gets fired. Did you guys hear about this? What is it? The braids? <laughs> Yo, Dude, man. That, okay, so that's sucks. I'll get into it. But the, the it's funny you say that because the first like he he made a video about like talking about what's been going on since he got fired, and the first comment was, "What is it? The braids?" <laughs> It's like it's not serious. <laughs> yeah, like people. Are, and then the next time was like people on TikTok are so unserious. They are. I'm they not are. serious on that. I'm on. I'm on there to have jokes. Yeah. But what do you guys think about that? Do you think that's unprofessional? For what do you think, Jay? Well, my gut reaction to that was like, man, people are so pussy. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. as I stopped to like kind of think about it, and like um, I saw like some of the pictures, and I was like, maybe this is a little like over the boundary a little bit, but not like enough to fire the guy maybe like suspend yeah there's 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 i mean it's a whole but the thing that made me feel weird because when i first heard about it i was like well is that wrong i mean it was it's it it was consensual like they they agreed to do it like would it be different if he was a high school teacher and they were undoing his braids (sighs) i put it this way man um okay so there's there's different ways about this And, and and the couple things that i'm thinking is like Braids are difficult to take out by yourself and you could damage your hair. Mm. Like it's it's better when someone else is doing it for you. Uh, that's just from personal experience when I used to get braids. But I also look at it like it's also like a, almost like a cultural thing to like when you do get braids, other people take it out for you. Yep. So like I don't really see anything wrong with it, but because it's a teacher, right, and he's in a and he's in an institution – and you're dealing with like uh, the other thing is sanitation. Mm-hmm. You know, there's people that, and, and I get it. Like, you know, this is um, something that's uh, it's probably not that deep, but like, you don't know what you know. Maybe you put something in your hair that a, a, a kid is allergic to, right? As a chemical in it, and say they have a cut on their finger, and now they get an infection, and they don't really, and it gets a lot worse. Like. I could see the rules and why you shouldn't have kids touching your hair. Got yeah, it. but I think the angle that people are taking, approaching it from, is that it's unprofessional. Yeah, I, I think it's unprofessional in a way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you should just should have just waited, or mm-hmm. had someone else do it. Yeah, but also you don't know the relationship he has with his students. Yeah. yeah. So, so this is what. So, I get. I don't know if this is an interview he did with Yahoo News, but it says that he said we as a people have to abandon this idea of sexual intimacy being tied with getting your hair done. The teacher said, "Y'all can see there's nothing suggestive going on. It's like family. It's like community. This is simply a wholesome, innocent, community-oriented activity." Then he also explains. Yeah. If I was a female teacher, those people wouldn't be in the comments saying, oh, this is weird, this is inappropriate. Because me personally, I think there isn't anything weird about it. People are saying, oh, that's too intimate. To me, it's literally just hair, he said. It doesn't have to be weird. Some yeah. people have never had cool teachers, and it shows. Oh, no, I agree. I agree to that. I agree to that. Yeah. Um, that it's not weird. It's not. I don't think it was weird in a sexual way at all. Yeah. Uh, not at all. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. That didn't cross my mind at all. Mm-hmm. Again, like, it, it's braids. Um, and, you know, it's... Just within like black culture, like the, the when you get braids, you have someone else take it out. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It doesn't it has nothing to do with sexuality. Right. It's not like, hey, come grab this candy from my pocket. Yeah. And it's like I, I could see that how he's saying this community thing. Like, you know, it's 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 just one of those things that you that you do for each other. Right. But because he's in an institution, uh, you know, there are probably rules and I'm leaning towards the idea. Maybe they fired him because it could have caused like 
a health issue. Mm. Okay. That's the only thing that I could think of. And the fact that it went viral, people are talking about it, and the image to the institution is now at risk. Yeah, yeah. if they don't do anything about it. If they it. don't do anything about it. Because I it, bet you if it didn't go viral. Yeah. If it was like wouldn't have even care. Yeah. Uh, just don't do it again. It's not, yeah, just be careful yeah. with it. Yeah, you know what I mean? And be, Yeah, because it was broadcasted and... Yeah, which is whack. It's whack, yeah. That's whack to me, in my opinion. Like, what he did was harmless, in my opinion. Like, if you just, the grand scheme of things, you take yeah. all these, like, little rules out, it's harmless. Like he said, it's community, it's cultural. Mm-hmm. Is it any different if you had saw, like, you walked into your teacher's class like during lunch and you saw like someone was giving them pigtails like just messing around is that any different probably not right mm. like like a like a student giving like an adult pigtails yeah like just like messing with their like tying their hair i, I guess not i don't nah. think i would be thinking about it weird yeah. i've seen dude i've seen like when i was in school uh i i've seen it where like a teacher has pigtails because you know the students like oh he had long hair like mr so so let's see what you like with pigtails and they're just doing it real quick Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's not like not even taking time away from the class. It's just like messing you know, around. It's just messing around. Yeah, yeah. And so also to come to his defense, because I did watch a couple of his other videos. Yeah. He was saying that it wasn't an activity that took away from them learning. It's the end of the su- school year. There's not really much going on. They just finished presenting, and that was done in the last ten minutes of class, yeah. where there was nothing going on. Yeah. So it, it seems very harmless. But also, I don't work in the school district, so I don't know what's inappropriate and what's not appropriate. I just know if I was in school and I guess I saw that in class, I wouldn't think it's weird. But I'm also, I don't know, I'm naive to the whole thing. I'm also not a parent, so I don't know what the parents' perspective are on this. I honestly don't. I bet you 100% that the parents, Their parents. in the picture had no issue with they that. Probably, they probably don't care. But I do... Um, I do see where you're coming from though as far as like the whole like image thing yeah like it going viral it's unprofessional right. Right. go ahead go ahead no no no. I, i'm just saying i agree with you like yeah the, as a from a pr view i guess but, yeah yeah so, unfortunate so, so let's think about this right so the teacher obviously has no issue with it he's not trying he doesn't have any sexual intention behind mm-hmm. it the students in it was a, it was consensual for the students to do it because they agreed to do it. I wonder if they asked to do it. Maybe they, they could have been like, they "Yo, Mister, Mr., Mr., whatever." And like, also, if the parents consented to it or are are cool with it after the fact, if they if everybody that's involved is cool with it, is it then okay? Is it still okay for people on the outside looking in to be up in arms about it and be like, "Yo, that's professional. You should have a problem with it." This is why it's. This is why you, it shouldn't be happening in the classroom. Like, if everybody that's involved is okay with it, should people on the outside looking in still be trying to be like, no, that you should be uh, having boundaries. You shouldn't be doing stuff like that in school. Uh, it's it is crazy. It is it is crazy because like you do want to have boundaries and stuff like that, but what. What is worth being fired for and what is more of a teaching mm. point? Was this worth getting fired over? Um, I mean, I would think he would say no, but I didn't think he, th- yeah. he would I didn't think he thought it was gonna go yeah, so like, to th- this this point. And also the outside people's opinion should not really matter how the school wants to do their yeah. their, their things. Yeah. yeah, that sucks too. Just cause like the like what Charlemagne uses a lot, like the court of public opinion tends to sway a lot of this shit. Decisions. decisions decisions yeah yeah because yeah. is it like if again if everybody that's involved parents included are saying that it's cool but then all these other people who are who work in a school or whatever or who have student who have kids that go to a school yeah. and they're like no that you shouldn't that's not right is it right for them to do that it's so crazy for, i, I want to know who these people are saying that this is wrong well there's a whole community of people like because it's it's you know it's like a, what are they saying what why why do they think it's wrong I guess, well, most I don't I don't know the exact reason, but I think most uh, the majority of people are saying is it's it just it's just unprofessional. Yeah, I guess, or it's just unprofessional. It's wild to me to think that, that there bre- should be a boundary, I guess, between teacher and student. Yeah, like to to, to the fact that you're even sexualizing hair braiding. It's like that's like uh, <clears throat> that's like say a student just gave this dude a lineup and they're sexualizing a lineup. Mm. Why is that even a like? You know what I mean? It's just weird to me. That's how I see it. I'd love to hear a parent's perspective who who doesn't agree with this. Yeah, please chime in. Yeah. yeah, like why is it? Why to you? 
who I mean, it's not happening to your child, yeah. but why do you think that that whatever's like, going on so over there is inappropriate? Some of these takes on uh, a very honest website, Reddit, <laughs> are uh, they're saying uh, they're uncomfortable with um, being it being broadcasted, like it was on TikTok Live. Mm. Oh, so he posted it. <clears throat> I believe so. <clears throat> So he was doing it for clout or just showing? Well, his- I think he was just because a lot of his page is him showing him teaching his students different things. Hey, like, oh, well, see, you know what? Maybe he, was he teaching like, yo, how to take braids out or something? Not necessarily, but I think it was just part of his content that he was just trying to yeah. showcase like that he's cool with his students. If he was getting fired more so for the content of showing students faces on his thing, well, that's a little different. Well, he did clarify that all of them have signed a, me- a media. Yeah, before they oh, enter his yeah, class. yeah. So, so people are just up in arms with the fact that there's people that are, there's kids that are unbraiding his hair. Yeah, pretty much. That's whack. Now, if I had kids, I, I would tell them like, yo, don't be touching other people's hair. Yeah. Cause for, not because yeah, it's, it's weird, it's but because more of a it's a hygienic thing. Yeah. It's yeah, a sanitation. To me, yeah. It's how more hygienic than it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? But also I guess you think of, cause I think about the the creep teachers that have been exposed at my school yeah you think about that too because you don't know what the intention of but, see, each not, but that's the problem is. too is like yes there is that but there's also that's also destroying it for the people that are doing stuff genuinely yeah yeah for sure but i mean i'm not destroying it the teacher is what destroyed it in my mind for yeah. me the mr mr z was the one you know asking students to grab candy out of his pocket now i'm just skeptical about everything that teachers want you to do i guess yeah i don't know it could be the world we live in now just our society yeah maybe yeah. maybe if this happened this happened in the 90s ain't nobody yeah. talking about they they probably like, oh this is cool man yeah he's he's cool with his students his students fuck with him yeah he's a cool teacher yeah yeah maybe this is the overcorrection <laughs> just from um bad stuff happening yeah maybe that maybe Z. maybe the people That's that are up point. in arms about it are just more so looking out for future students who might be entangled with a teacher that doesn't have the best intentions just being cautious i guess yeah, yeah. i was still not fireable in my mind yeah maybe have a sit down but yeah because it's been broadcasted and like all these people have opinions about it the school is uh, going to look bad for yeah. not doing taking action if even I, if they take them back if i was a principal bro i would have made a statement and been like yo there's nothing wrong with this. Mm. You know, I've You're, talked, I've talked with them and we understand that, that it, it's caused an issue, mm-hmm. but you know, there's nothing wrong with this. It's very, it's very wholesome. Um, but we, we talked about it and the teacher knows that we're going to, we're going to dead it. We're going to dead it. Yeah. We're going to yeah. nip it in the bud. And then both y'all get fired. <laughs> <laughs> if that, if that's the case, then you know what? We shouldn't be working. Should yeah, be I mean, yeah, if that, yeah, sure. I guess, yeah. That's if that's a, what they're focusing on, is that? Yeah, we worry about the wrong things. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Some people just <clears throat> worried about policy, bro. Yeah, but maybe Pushing there's policy. also maybe there's more to it that we don't know about. I'm yeah, sure I'd love to is. hear. You know, chime in. Yeah, are we all wrong in this for backing this situation? And it's not even me backing it up because I I personally think it is unprofessional. Like I wouldn't if I was in his from a but you're coming from a sanitation. Not even standpoint. that. Just like. It, that too and like yo like i'm gonna just wait till pro- i get it done professionally because these kids aren't professional you know yeah hair people but also like it's like uh again like i i don't that's not that's not how i get down so so i'm yeah so are you saying it is professional are you you're saying it's cool or are you saying it's unprofessional i'm i'm saying in the in the in the i i, I see that it's unprofessional mm-hmm. i don't think it's worth getting fired over but I also don't see that there's anything wrong with it in yeah. terms like of them saying it was sexualized yeah. or in terms of like I, I it should be raising an uproar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just feel like it's it is like in the in the lame in the straight facts term of unprofessionalism, just like you could have just waited. I would have I personally would have waited until I was going to get my hair done by a professional also maybe the uh the sexual thing maybe it's something we're missing because we're not black maybe if it, if that is a part of yeah. black culture that i'm not aware of yeah yeah um yeah another person was saying that his hair appointment that was supposed to be after school got canceled and then that's why he had to get it done i don't know i don't know man yeah regardless of the reason i mean i think the act in itself to me seems innocent yeah it's harmless but then again 
I don't know what a boundary between a teacher and a student is supposed to look like. Yeah. What's 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 the what's the hard line in the sand that that the school district is saying this is the boundary that you're supposed to set between you and your student? Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. They probably there's probably no physical touch, no yeah. communication outside of, of of school, of school, you know, yeah. devices or even school hours. Because it is there a universal standard for all I'm pretty schools? Sure. Yeah, because yeah. you know, it gets sent down from the Department of Education, blah blah blah, and then each state sets how they do things. Yeah, maybe that's what. Maybe the physical touch thing is just like the first one that's like a it's a, it's a zero tolerance yeah. policy yeah. for that yeah probably just had to like on paper just had to write it somewhere you know like kind of like you can drink at 21 like that's not even like scientifically the right ages or whatever but we just put the number somewhere yeah so that it's, that's a, what we it's follow a, it's a hard line rule that everyone follows yeah i don't remember really getting physically like t- touching any of my teachers though I but it's I also didn't. a different perspective because I'm in this case it was a I don't know if this matters or not but it was a it was the all the the girls touching the hair mm-hmm. but would people be up in arms if it was if it was guys undoing the hair would it be the same or if it was reversed what if the teacher was a girl and it was just a bunch of girls touching the hair or dudes touching the hair yeah I, I guess the optics you know? I, I couldn't tell you if what the reaction would be publicly but yeah. if the reaction was the same if it was dudes do you think it would hair, be the same he would have got fired i don't know i don't know or not if it would be the same or not but if he did if the reaction was the same he probably would have got fired as well yeah yeah man who knows dude who who knows really why the reason it, you know i'm pretty sure they were able to pick because you have to pinpoint it you can't just be like oh the people on the outside think it's wrong so let's fire you you know what i mean so i'm pretty sure there's some rules set yeah but then the like but then we think about like physical let's say physical touch is the the that's the line in the sand that we're not supposed to cross then we think about gym teachers who are also basketball coaches or football coaches there's some physical touch involved in you and your players right i'm assuming hey good play ass slap type Eh, oh like back in the day or not maybe ass slap but like like in, in practice or something if they're like pushing them around for the sake of the drill yeah you know is that crossing the line because it is physical touch Maybe those are the ones of the waivers we sign. Mm. Yeah, I don't, know, I don't know, man. Yeah, I'm approving for the good play ass slot. Yeah, <clears throat> I really don't know because when I was when I was coaching, like if if physical touch, like you can't touch your 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 students or student athletes at all, then I probably would have been fired a long time ago because I always hugged my student athletes. Yeah, no, yeah. I feel that. Yeah, always, always. There's hugging. a lot. Yeah, I mean, especially if they're having a like a bad day or they had a bad game and they're crying and shit. Like you yeah. console, and if that's an issue, then and this stuff is not done in private and it's in a picture. I'm doing this in at a game. Yeah, with a bunch of people there. Crowd. Yeah, there's a crowd. Like this is you're just showing love. Yeah. So. I don't know. I well, definitely wasn't smacking no ass though. That, that <laughs> yeah. shit is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't even do that shit when I was playing. Yeah, but <clears throat> but if it was like a male coach slapping the asses of a ma- of a male player, I'm not batting an eye at that. Yeah, that's just. That's I'm not just thinking. How shit was back in the day, especially in baseball. It's just right. I'm not thinking like that's questionable. Yeah, nah, I'm not. If it was male and, and a female, yeah, that's a little different. Yeah, that's yeah I guess that is yeah. that's a little different. I don't yeah. care. I don't care what planet. Like, nah, that's. But I guess a that's a double field. standard because if it was a female coach coaching boys and she slapped the ass of a boy, I'm not think I'm not batting an eye at that either. Oh, really? I I would have. Oh, you are? Yeah. Even if it was just a simple like good good play or something, you're 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 looking at that sideways. Oh, that's good. I'm not gonna be like calling the school like. Oh, fire, I know. Yeah. Are we are we looking sideways at it now though because of how society is? Oh, for sure. Nowadays, yeah. or well, I'm. He, I mean, he is. I'm not. Well, but, but yeah. In that con, in the in the head coach be a female head coach slapping the ass of a male player. I'm not looking at that sideways. I am looking yeah. at it sideways if it's a male coach and a female player. Yeah. Not even because I don't. I, I, maybe it's maybe it is because of how it is nowadays. But that I guess to me, that one doesn't really equate. I think the biggest thing that you need to do is teach your kids how to see the red flags of someone that may be overstepping the boundaries mm-hmm. when it comes to physical touch. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Um, and it's hard to tell because a lot of a lot of people groom. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people groom, and it, it, you you never know if you're if you're a victim to that. But yeah. the best thing to do is teach your kids. You know what I'm saying? Like those those types of boundaries. I guess technically speaking, yeah, undoing the braids isn't that grooming. Um, uh, <laughs> I was looking at it like on a for real level, but I didn't realize. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's. That's a good. All right, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean. Like, yeah. No, I'm being. I'm. That's not even a joke. What? Though. I'm being that's a double entendre. No, I know, but I'm not saying it to be. I'm being like, for, that's isn't that grooming, or no? Yeah, I'm still gonna give you that. That's grooming. Okay. In so the, he was grooming her. In, no, they were, he was grooming them. They were. Or he, grooming they were him. grooming him. Yeah. In the in the um, what's it called? The definition by the. Like what is it when you take care of your your body or like your cleanliness? Hygiene? Hygiene, like yeah. from a hygienic point of view. Yeah. Yes. He they were they were grooming. grooming him. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I I'll put it this way, man. If we keep treating people <laughs> like they are predators, we're going to we're going to start eliminating the good people. Yeah, but then we'd never have Chris Hansen. Yeah, but he was really fishing for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Think, okay, but do you think Chris Hansen ever like created? Shouts Chris Hansen, by the way. Do you think he ever created a predator? Not because like activated them. Yeah, like he activated them. Like so they were a sleeper cell. They yes. didn't know that they were this way. Hundred percent. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he he activated. So I was I was watching this interview of a psychologist who uh, was studying predators and people that prey on like younger uh, women and stuff like that, and um. She said that a lot of men are natural predators in the in the terms of the rule, right? Uh, be, and some of them because we're can we're there's the the rules of the age point limits of who you cannot blah blah blah. She was doing the study. She said that back in the day, the reason why, like for example, the reason why men are attracted to younger, like. Um, let's say girls, right, that are going through puberty at this specific age is because in nature, that is when you're, that's like the, that's the time. Yeah, that's the time to, to, the, to multiply. Time to multiply. So like if you, if you took away all the rules, you go back all the way back in a time, like when it's, age wasn't a thing, it, it's normal for the male human species to be attracted to the female human yeah. species at a specific age of puberty. Yeah. Right. Not because like, oh, I know she's young and she's right. Like, it's just that's the natural yeah. thing, right? So she did the study and was saying that um, because of this age limit that, that they've created, um, yes, some men can be pulled into being a predator. Yeah, because that's ba- how. Yeah, if they've never even had those thoughts, but because they have a this opportunity. Is it right? I still think it's wrong. Like, you know, because at that age too of, of um, when you go through puberty, Kids are very young. They don't understand specific things. They can get swayed to be mm-hmm. groomed, all that type of stuff. They don't really understand. So right, uh, it's wrong because now we know better. This is yeah, not like ex- caveman yeah, times. Exactly, we know better now. It's different times. Yeah, uh, you can't be operating with old rules. Mm-hmm. And the adults are, you know, it's easier for an adult to sway a child's mind because they mm-hmm. don't know any better. Yeah. So you think Chris Hansen out there? He hundred percent. He was activating a lot of these. Motherfuckers, yeah, that would have probably never been probably. activated if they weren't like it, yeah tickled a little like bit. Those yeah. predators are probably different from yeah uh, the A minors yeah who right. are attracted to people because they know that yeah. they're of a they're certain they're younger yeah. yeah yeah but also too you know regardless if you didn't know that you was like you were Into gonna that? take the bait yeah you know the rule mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. If you start talking to a girl and, you're, and then she's like, "Oh, I'm 14," but she looks like like Drake was with the 17. Oh, you look great. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. how are you this thick? You're only, you know, like you know it's not right, and you're still gonna go. So. I'm surprised he didn't get taken down for That's that. That's what I'm saying. That's why we talking about all this shit. Do with his braids. What is it? The braids. We got this dude with the fucking <laughs> braids right now on stage. Fucking your breasts feel good on my chest. 17. How you get so thick? He's he's making millions. We okay. didn't fire him. You're right, bro. With the current climate, we yeah. I okay. We didn't I, fire him. That's what they're saying at the school district. They're yeah. Like, Hold on, guys. But oh, but you know what? Let's hire Drake for the school. <laughs> Let's hire the baby for the school, bro. 
<laughs> what is it? The braids? You feel me? <laughs> what are we doing? What are Bruh, we really what, doing? What, Yo, what was the song we were playing the other day? He's like, high school pigs. You was even bad. Th- yeah, you yeah. was even bad back then. Man, when people, man. oh man, people it, are people are making it a series now to like be going through old Drake songs. Talking yeah. about, yo, these are questionable lines, brother. Like, bro, if we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about baiting, grooming, Chris Hansen, all that shit. Drake is the number one person on the top. We not gonna take him down. Bro, I mean, said, I mean, bro said Sierra Canyon parking yeah, lot looking, looking like, like Magic, Magic City, City. Yeah. bro <laughs> what yeah it just makes me think like he was just like he was the super senior that never graduated yeah yeah for real bro and he was in the parking lot like and yo, he can't we're... say Sierra Canyon was popping when he was young that shit just started popping when Bronny went there and Juju <laughs> what did you mean by that what did you mean by that brother you feel me what did you mean by that man you see that picture? I sent that that picture meme. It's Chris Hansen and Drake's back of his head. He's like, uh, I forgot what it was already. But yeah, come on, man. Like, there, there, there's shit that happens right in front of our face. And we just... I mean, he was telling us. Yeah, he's been telling us that he wants a young woman. You know what? Why is that the first time I saw that that um, concert video, though? I've never seen that before. I've never I mean, seen either. that before either. It got either. tugged. I mean, think, I mean, I don't know if this is related, but he got a song called Teenage Fever. Oh, bruh. <laughs> What the heck? He has a song called Teenage Fever. Yeah, I don't. I don't listen to Drake that hard. Pause. I don't listen to Drake that hard. Like, yeah, I've listened to his albums. They're long and pause, and they're, they're like, Bro, there's a lot of songs what? I could take out. You don't have to say that. <laughs> That's right. But come on, man! I can't believe that we're getting mad at this dude, or people are getting mad at this dude for the braids. Well, I guess you can see why people are getting mad because if people like Drake. Like we just think he's another Drake, uh, yeah, like, true, you know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. saying? The current climate is just a little too sensitive right now. Had this been six months later, maybe it would have been like, you know, yeah, less of a thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we it's, bad timing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to, you know, yeah. I'm looking at the high school picks. You was even damn. Yeah, high dude, school picks. You was even bad then. Is crazy. That's crazy, bro. I'm looking at the lyrics for Teenage Fever. Oh, okay. I'm trying to find something questionable, but well, was that the song for Georgia? Yeah, because she was apparently a little bit younger when he was preying on her too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard what's her name, um, Robbie Ruse or whatever. Robbie Ruse. Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. <laughs> Robbie Ruse. <laughs> bro, was talking about Roberto's. <laughs> Robbie Ruse. <laughs> that sounds like a buffet of Mexican food. Robbie Ruse. <laughs> Ruby uh, Rose. Yeah. Yeah. She was saying like Travis Scott and some and some other dudes was like dating her when she was super young. That's what she mm. said. Game. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Let's speaking of the game. Yo. <laughs> hey, I think Get Rich or Die Trying is a classic album. It's way better. So let's let's bring people up to speed with your take. So I don't know when that episode's going to air. I think it's going to it's a future bring episode. Bring them up to speed. I, what do you mean? I think I think uh, Get Rich or Die Trying is definitely one of the better. Albums. <laughs> nah, man, nah, because what you know when that about? album is. Nah. So there's a future episode that's uh, listen, guys, guys talking about? to peel the curtains on the beef on the roast beef a little bit. <sighs> we we recorded an episode that's going to go out later in the future, and this guy said that the games documentary album. Song for song is better than 50 Cent's Get Rich or Die Trying. I said the beats. The oh, music. now it's just... Nah, what is it? The beats. I said the beats. I said the music. You did oh, say, now, that was one of the aspects for sure. Like you had a bullet point checklist and you said... And that was on there, but that wasn't... You said song for game. song. And listen, I'm not trying to like... I'm just trying to find out what the truth, like what your real opinion is now. And it's okay if you thought that or, and then now you're back to team Get Rich or Die Trying. Like we welcome you with open arms. Grot it. What do you think now? Now that we did that, no, I think I think they're both great albums. Oh, for sure. I didn't yeah. deny that it, yeah. the documentary was a great album. Yeah. But when you compare it song for song to Give Richard I Trying, there's a lot more cla- uh, classic hits with with Get Richard Die Trying. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with Games album, we can't deny that it was it was a classic piece of work. No, I, I don't think we're denying that. <laughs> Look, you're you're moving, you're changing the narrative. Mers like started playing the album for us uh, unconsensually <laughs> right after, and I I have to admit it did sound very good. I think the music aged, like the sound of it aged 
pretty well. But man, when we were started going like, this isn't better than this. Yeah. <laughs> I think because we- every song we were thinking about, is this better than many men? Yeah. And then I think what really did it was when he when we were like, if we're talking about songs for the girls, what song is better than 21 Questions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is such a, cl- yeah. But but listen, I'm not yeah. about to, I'm not going to bring this up for the rest of your life. I'm just. Nah, yeah, you are. Y'all definitely going to bring this up, man. <laughs> No, because that's what you would do to us, though. If I had, if I had a take like that, do it. You, I mean, you even do that with Drake, like this, the Drake songs that I like. Like you'll be, you'll be clowning me for for liking them, in some way. Of course, (laughs) that's what I do. That's yeah. So that's what we do. do. But yeah, it was a good try, though. It was a good try. It was an interesting exercise. Yeah, to listen to it. That's what I got. I got to keep y'all on your toes though, and make y'all realize some certain things about. It did make me. It did make me appreciate it more because yeah, wouldn't because yeah. wouldn't get far as on there, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Is it? I yep. think so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's another Kanye Dreams produced song. There, Dreams, yeah. yeah, Dreams is another great song. Yeah, he's got some good songs. It's, you know. it's track for track, in my opinion. Like in my opinion, it's track for track. What you mean by that? Like you can go track for track on it. Back, like you can play it through. And every song. Oh, you mean, yeah. yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay. I think a few things were happening there at the time. Like, for one, you know, you should stand up for your uh, controversial opinions or unpopular opinions. And for two, we're maybe we're normalizing changing your mind to a certain degree. So (laughs) there you go. It's okay. Yeah. Um, You were also wrong. (laughs) (laughs) It's going to be crazy to listen to this and then to listen to that episode because you really hear how how much he really stood on that. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah. We recorded a, a, I don't know if, sorry, if we weren't supposed to talk about this, I guess it's hard for me not to say what, what's actually going on in the world with us, yeah. but we recorded a, a bunch of episodes that are going to come out while I'm in the Philippines. So, and while I'm in Korea and while Merz is in Korea, like shout out to Merz for making a schedule for us to follow so that we could not miss an episode, man. Huge FOMO for you guys being in the Asia, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We just wanted it to be, so you guys get, all of us for as long as possible and not just end up being just Jay. Well, nothing wrong. Maybe people wanted that. No. Well, maybe, but I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure Jay don't want to sit here, set the cameras up and just record himself, talk about whatever. Maybe he did actually. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I could set up one camera. What do you, you know, hop in the chat. You want me to set up one camera? It'll look like a beheading video. It'll look like a ransom video, bro. Or an apology. It sound oh my god, it looked like an apology video. <laughs> yeah, like apology video. A notes app. How yeah. long do you think that episode that solo episode is? Dude, I can't really solo without a chat. It might be like four minutes. It's better than three. <laughs> like you know, I just have to talk about what I did lately. I'll just be like, um man. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> well, you know, that might you might cause have you ever listened to Have you ever listened to a solo pod? I know you have with Theo. Yeah, Theo. But outside like, of Theo, have you ever listened to a solo pod? Not really, nah. Yeah, but they're like about specific subjects, like basketball mm. or football. You guys have never listened to Chris D'Elia's uh, pods? Mm-mm. Nah, nah, he's a diddler too. A word, isn't he? D'Elia's uh, a diddler. I don't know. I can't even say the word. Diddler is he? Wait, real quick, what's the update on Diddy? Is there? Is, I don't know. Is, man. Anything, is anything? I saw him running from. The Paps or something? I don't know. The Pap smear? Wait. Or, may, or was it Biebs running from him? Who was running from him? I don't know. Wait, he, for real? Like a like a Bieber recent video? Not not like on the run, but like a maybe I, I might be mixing up the celeb because you know he he's in a lot of celeb circles. Yeah, mm. Mm. and a lot of them are. I seen a, a, a I don't know how old this video is. I didn't even listen to it. I just saw it, uh, but I just seen a video of um, Golly, I can't believe his name just like. This disappeared. Uh, Meek. Nah. Uh, Fat Joe. Stevie J. Who is that? Of all, okay. Yeah, it's a picture of Stevie J. Is that a and? singer? Nah, he was. He was in the. Um, he was in the report with Diddy. He was oh, one I of the. Yeah, one of the guys. That he was, was one of the ringleaders that was like, you know, sexing up. Whoa. Yeah, sexing up other male producers that were working with Diddy. Jagged Edge. Stevie J. Yeah, was he sexing up Jagged Edge? I don't know who he was sexing up, but it was yeah, let's the guy not start that, a rumor. It here. was a guy that was reporting. It was in that sixty-page thing. Okay, did you guys read that sixty-page thing? No I did. way, I did. You did, mm-hmm. dude. Jay Z's name is in it. Is it? In what way? Uh, they just said something about his song. Oh, <laughs> he wasn't like involved in. Uh, not not from that report. No. The escapades. 
No, nah, I just, hope he wasn't, man. They just explained. Like, I, don't the, know. I, I don't know. There's. So you guys don't have any update on what's happening to the diddler? Nah, if, he's, I, if he's locked up right now, if he's on the run, are they looking for him? I don't know, because I feel like every time I see a video of him, it doesn't look new. Yeah. They're, for some reason, they always look... I thought you guys like would have been keeping up ago. with the case. Nah, man, this Kendrick beef was way more... Oh, dude, it take, that took over yeah, the culture. I, I'm, not, I'm not... Or do you think Diddy organized the Kendrick? Oh, Tan to get to get the weight off his shoulders because we completely forgot about yeah, Diddy. I, during I didn't that forget, time. but I just wasn't paying attention to it. Yeah, I didn't forget. It's like when the government like says they saw UFOs when yeah. when they pass a new bill that's gonna mess mm-hmm. us up. Yeah, you know, it's exactly what because it's a funny timing for us to be you know looking into Diddy and then it is Drake and He's maybe like, I'm maybe, not. But Drake, I mean, he ran in circles with Diddy, yeah. right? He's so like, oh, yo, I'm not the predator. Look what he did. I'm pointing at Drake. Yeah. Maybe Drake was like taking the fall for Diddy because he wanted to, all the all the fingers to be pointed at him instead. He's like, oh, I got it. Take a fall for me. If Drake if Drake on some R. Kelly shit, everyone started coming out with all these things and stuff like that. What's going on? What do you mean? You guys fucking with Drake still after that? But even right now, it's kind of questionable for me. I'm definitely not listening to no Drake. Off, dude. Yeah, like new Drake, I'm probably not gonna really listen to. Cause the only, I, the only way I'm listening to Drake is if he's dissing Kendrick. I want to hear what his dumb ass got to say. <laughs> because like, I want to be able to listen to Drake in the songs that I love, like Passion Fruit. Oh my god, <sighs> just that Passion Fruit, bro. Man, man, stop. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I feel like I have a connection to those songs with a different understanding. Or so, a different underage. But isn't it, wouldn't it be, po- isn't it possible, guys? Th- th- sit with me for a second. Okay. Isn't it possible to listen to that song that you loved before you found out that he might have been a predator, to love that song? Isn't it possible to f- continue listening to the song and not, you're not supporting predators, you're just supporting nostalgia? No. Is it possible could, to do both? But no, nah, but he's getting the money from that. The the four cents that I'll download Spotify it. pays out. How about that? That's You'll even buy worse. It. I'll download the song illegally. No, like you could oh, down do like you could download songs on Spotify. So you're gonna illegally support? It's not groomism. illegal. It's it's legal. Like you could download songs on Spotify so you can listen to it when you don't have signal. And you don't think they they count those when you get the next time you get? I don't think so. You think they're counting those Man, spins? Yeah, it's spins. I think so. How, how do they know that you're counting? You don't as, have signal. As soon as you log back in, they're going to see how many times you played it offline. He's right. I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, I can't listen to Drake. I, one, I didn't re- really listen to it that heavy, except for the song where I did push-ups to the, the, um, the electronic shit. But I can't. Nah, I just can't, man. Okay. I can't. Well, that's fine. But you're saying that I can't listen to it and not think about no, preterism? No, 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 preterism. <laughs> you, you don't think I can listen to it and also just stand for not, f- no to, gr- I can't say no to grooming? Okay, what's one of your favorite songs? I'm going to see if there's any questionable lines in it. Passion Fruit. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to pull up Drake Passion Fruit lyrics. I love that song. Man, you can't I tell me you don't Passion like that song Fruit. either. I can't even tell you if I can even to be real. I'm not joking. I don't even know how. I, like I can't even think of the melody in my head. Dun, 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 okay, yeah, I know your song. That's a good song. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see here. There let's is see. like people mm-hmm. are taking this opportunity to dump all the bad things that that they've had kept with them all these years, and now people are showing like awkward vids of his dad being a creep at the bar. Yeah, I've seen those. Um, yeah, this, yeah, I've seen some videos of that, yeah. Yeah, he's like not wanting to let go of the girl. Yeah. Of the snow bunny. Snow bunny, specifically. Yeah, wonder what Dr. Umar would say about that. Mm. Brother, uh. Yo, Dr. Umar, come on the show, bro. No, please, I don't want to talk to Dr. Umar, man. <laughs> you guys are... <laughs> I, I, I would talk to Dr. Umar and just see how far I could sway him to just different... Things. He's not. He's gonna sway me, bro. <laughs> Whoa, that's questionable. Yeah. No, like my opinions. That's questionable. Okay, yes, he talks with so much conviction. He, I just might be like, "Whoa, yeah, bro." I put the kufi on. <laughs> what? Wait, you're gonna put the condom on? No. What is What's that? A- what a kufi is? <laughs> 
Nah, it's not. It's what is crazy. that? Hold on. I need to see. What is that? Like, it's a hat. It's like cultural, it, cultural African wear? Yeah. I don't even know how to spell it, but. Me neither. You, when you see it, you'll know exactly what it is. It's one of these. Yeah. Oh, like okay. five, you said five percent is wearing it, right? Okay. Except someone just said that. Anyways, what I, I, say? I thought you said I don't know. You can find a questionable line or Yes. This is the line. Let me go back real quick. He said He said passionate from miles away. He said cleansing my soul of addiction for now. Cause we're falling apart. It's about promiscuity. Between us, just like picket fences. Feel me? How's that questionable? I'm just messing. You didn't find nothing yeah, in that nothing. one. I didn't find nothing. That so one doesn't that even have good. a curse. So, cur- <laughs> cur- well, it does. doesn't even cuss. It what does. Did say? In the beginning. Curse cuss. That one, that one guy's like, oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. You're yeah, too you old. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> What's another song you like? Mm, I mean, pretty much every song off of What a Time. Drake and Fuge. I know this guy loves that album. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to deny that one, brother. You think Drake and Future will come back together and make some drinks? Nah, definitely not. No, not definitely after not. all this. Definitely not. It makes some good music together. You, did you like What a Time to Be Live? Yeah, it was good music. Yeah. I mean, it's a good album, yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was a great album. But here's the thing. If I do listen to like Drake music, right? Like just with an unbiased ear, if I do hear something sus, I'm going to just be like. I think I think I am too. Yeah. I'm but if I already had a prior connection to it, I mean, Teenage Fever is kind of crazy. That's crazy. I don't know. I feel bad that that didn't raise a flag to me. At least be like, yo, what the, what's well, this all I, about? I think he was trying to relate his passionate intensity for somebody like the way that you have passionate when you were a teenager yeah like you know it's so why uh, is some thinking, romeo and juliet i feel you but okay like we're passionate like just like we were back in the high school days when we weren't allowed to hang out and we're sneaking around but yeah. we're so passionate got it from okay. miles away or uh, maybe in context it's a lot different. right he's not saying oh he's but it is kind of crazy to, it is it is it's crazy to be like man it's just <laughs> tough <laughs> Teenage fever is crazy. <laughs> That's like a Rico charge. Like he, <laughs> yeah. They're gonna play that in the in court. Like, what do yeah, you mean, what by, you mean that? by this? Yeah, well, no one's gonna believe him. Yeah, like brother. Yeah, he was really giving it to us the way he wanted to give it to us. Yeah. <laughs> Even in high school, you was back then. Why? But, but I get Melly. that. No, but I get that line too. Like, you saw a girl. Like you went to high school with this girl. And even in high school, you were bad. Like, you've been bad. I don't think okay, that's the context. I, yeah, I, I can see that, but I think he was just saying he saw high school pictures of her after the fact that he already knows her from just adult that you, That's life. what you think that that's what Yeah, I think that he saw high school pictures of her and was like, dang, she was bad back then, too. <laughs> that means you're looking at high school kids. <laughs> like, seeing if they're bad or not. Yeah. You could go see a high school picture and be like, damn, she bad. I think that, that I'd like to think it's the former, but <laughs> it's that's like to the point of like you know that in that photo they're in high school and you're still saying yeah that. yeah versus just being like oh a random photo and you're like oh you were cute is that the same thing same thing yeah, yeah. it's, it's always acknowledging <laughs> I don't know man. man maybe I never thought of that for the song because you ever you I ever never see, get that far you ever see like your 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 so's high school pics and be like oh you were cute back then. Yeah, I did do that. I mean, but, yeah, I've done but, that too. Yeah, yeah, but we're not saying that. But I've always, I, you know, you say like, man, if we were, if I was, if we were in high school, I definitely would have been hollering at you. You think you said that? Yeah, yeah. Like if we were, like, because we always think like, man, what if we were in high school? You think we would? Yeah, you just think, put the scenarios out there. Mm-hmm. The, the the. I mean, that's what if you think the about. The it, that's what Drake's songs are. They're just th- theoreticals. <laughs> They're just hypotheticals. Well, yeah, I guess if that that's true to a certain degree because he's always putting on different facades. What what difference does it make if he's playing the position of an A minor? Exact wall, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> 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 this song I have patois. This song 
I got the English bo- mans with me. This song, A minor. Man, that's wild. Teenage Fever, I think, was an A minor. <laughs> was it? I, I'm not even joking. Let me find out. Yo. How do you find that out? Does it have that on Genius? Like, production credits? You could probably just hear it. Writers, all 20 of them, and then key. Yeah. No, because I think nowadays, te- with technology. Oh, wow. It's an, it's an A flat minor. Wow. I think it's just a funny coincidence. Yeah, I don't think he's like, yo, make that up, one man. an A minor. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of keys out there. Yeah. There's, there's only a lot of seven. kids, too. <laughs> there's a lot of kids, too. Well, are there seven? Seven. There's seven white. There's seven note, whole notes, mm. and there's and there's five half notes. Yeah, yeah. What are the ones with without half notes? Uh, The only one without B. a half note is, yeah, B. No, B flat. Oh, sorry, B doesn't have a sharp. It doesn't have a sharp, yeah. Mm. And there's it no didn't really C go to flat. school like that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about it, it's hard to explain don't even D- no don't underestimate the the musical talents of the people that listen to the show i'm sure a lot no, i'm of not them, underestimating them just people that don't know what we're talking about i don't know what we're talking about uh, i sure as hell don't know what we're talking about but. b flat no there's no b sharp though for real and yeah. there's no c flat either b sharp is c well, it's not. It's just the next step. It's just the next, yeah. It's the next step. But there is, yeah. Then. <laughs> Look at a keyboard. Okay. The last note before the C. I guess you wouldn't even know you where the C is. You don't even know where the C is. <laughs> not. <laughs> you don't even know where the C is. It's, okay, like if I'm looking at straight onto a keyboard, right? I'm yeah. standing in the middle of it. C is a little bit to the left. <laughs> Man. That's so crazy. No? Okay, so how you do it. So you know the I know two, there's C happens a lot, but the, I'm saying the two black keys. Okay. Okay, just the ones that are grouped together, the two. Okay. The first one. Okay. Okay. The first white key After to that. the left Fuck. is C. Okay. It's like you're giving directions. Yeah. And Make then you go left. up from there. C D E F G A B C. Okay. Mm-hmm. Why do we always start at C though? You know, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, I really don't know why they start at C. That's a good question. Why do we start at C? Yeah. Maybe jo- Jacob Collier knows. Who's that? You won't even know that, bro. I don't know either. That's all good. Musical genius. Really? Yeah. Well, do anything I know? Is that Jack Antonoff? I think, I think, I think the better question is, what did he do that you don't know? <sighs> Damn. <sighs> and Jay knows a lot of music. Yeah. Nah, he's stuck in the past, brother. Oh, it looks like he's stuck in a bowling alley. <laughs> Dude, that, that joke has got to go. Dude, you guys All right, you don't have look seen like you're me stuck wear in... this shirt so many times. Okay, if you don't work at a bowling alley, you work at a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you saying that because uh, of the size levels? No, man, just the shirt design. He looks like he works at a buffet. Like he's oh, yeah, one of the like servers. a station casino server. Yeah, yeah, yeah you do, you do like station that. casino. What drink, what drink do you want, Sprite? Yeah, sure. What do you think is the highest ordered drink at a buffet sprite or iced tea yeah i would say it's raspberry iced tea raspberry what (laughs) whoa did you take your inhaler you don't think it's raspberry iced tea it's wheezy f baby i feel like it's iced tea just iced tea man nah man ain't nobody getting iced tea at a buffet what everyone's getting iced tea at a buffet no have you ever gotten iced tea at a buffet i haven't but I feel where you're coming from as far as saying raspberry yeah, iced tea. Yeah, raspberry iced tea is way more popular than iced tea. Whenever we pull up to the buffet and there's like 40 of us, like more than half that table is getting raspberry iced tea. You're getting the Sprite. I'm getting this Sprite This guy's getting water. Sure. I'm getting both. Sprite and water. Man, I love, but like, I don't go to them often, but when we, when we went to the buffet recently yeah. with Uncle Uncle Al and the whole family, yeah, that was so fun. Like. There's just, there's just, I don't know if it's because it's nostalgic it for me. It is nostalgic. But when we when he when I got the call like yo Uncle Al wants to take us to a buffet. Man, say less, I'm free. And everyone's yeah. like come in. I'm like, "Wait, well, you weren't there." I wasn't there. Nah, he wasn't there. Nah, but it sounded so bro, fun. I know what you what you're trying to say. Bro, it sounded like it, a good time. You know how it is exactly. When 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 they say so and so wants to take us to a buffet and everyone's going. Yeah. We got a party of 60. We're there in line like bro, yeah. I forgot you weren't there. Yeah. Wow, that sucks. We're pulling up to the. We're just walking by each other, getting food. That was so fun. Yeah, laughing. right there. Yeah, laughing. They're yeah, like, oh, you got the fish. I mean, the food. Where'd you get that? And the food yeah. is good. Food is good, man. Where? South Point. Food is oh. good when it's free, man. Yeah, 
Oh. I'm not super picky either. Like, you know, I'll I'll Look, eat the mac and cheese from a buffet, from a buffet. I love South Point. I was raised in South Point. I don't really like the buffet, man. It isn't that's the best. That's why you didn't go? Huh? That's that why, why you didn't, didn't go? No, uh, that's not why I didn't go. Yeah, but I'm not going in there like, I need to get top tier food. I'm just go like, it's good enough Yeah, for me to have a good time. Like, you get man, a couple, couple fine, slices bro. of pizza, some fried chicken, mac and cheese, a pasta. Like, it don't have to be. Some of the Chinese food. You got to get the Chinese food. I never get the Chinese food. I always, I always get Chinese fried food. rice. I always get fried I rice, I don't man. even, I never do that. I always get mac and cheese, though. Always. Yeah, Should we go to a buffet after this? I'm low-key down. Yeah. Let's do it. Could get fried rice with the dip sauce. There, he's not being yeah. serious. Let's get to a fire one. He's not being oh, serious. Oh, the new Ho King joint? <laughs> he's not being serious, man. I was down for the buffet. I'm down for the buffet. Hit up Jeremy. I know he's down. Nah, yeah. You guys, okay, I don't know what it is lately. Or actually, you know what? It's New Wiz. New Wiz wants to eat so badly, bro, now that I'm trying to diet. This is the last time. This is my last time I'm gonna see you before I do leave that. for a month. No, nah, don't do that. No, nah, this is a. No, it is though. I'm not seeing you anytime before that. You could set something up, or you're gonna be packing for four we can days. Go to yeah. Corral. We can go to Golden Corral. Uh, no, okay, well that's where I draw the line. I'm not going to Golden Corral. <laughs> Love that place. <laughs> that place is. I'd rather go to CC's. <laughs> Whoa, no, hell no. Nah, nah. CC's. By the way, if you don't know, it's a all you can eat pizza place. That's Man. the word. Dude, CC's got that's great back and cheese. I feel pizza? like they put that's the sauce the on with a with a paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to put mac and cheese on a pizza? Yeah, that, that's that's. It's different. not bad. It used to be fire when I was a kid, but now it's like, what? You didn't even put bacon on it? Fuck well, out here. You guys want to be down to eat CC's right now? No, I am not destroying my body for that. CC because it's mid mid. CC sucks. Thank you, Jay. I've never been to a Golden Crow. It's fire. Or is that where we wait? We yeah, ate we ate had at his birthday. For no, his birthday. We, did, we did it for my banquet. I had my basketball banquet, my last one. Yeah, and your birthday. We no, went for your did. birthday. One yeah, we time? went for your I birthday. Went for my birthday. Yes, we. I don't think we went for his birthday. Yes, why we would did. We, why would? Oh wait, I think we did, and I ordered. Uh, all I got was the uh, the roast the roast beef um, the roast beef the steak cut joint. Was I there? Yeah, we were all there. That okay. was back when the good old days when we all went. To I places. think it was when I think it was when buffets opened back up. Nah, nah. Was before Here, keep that. talking before while, while okay, I find yeah, the, while you this look proof. It up, if it is that time, I th- I think I didn't find it to be bad at all. But you were it's like Southern that food. sucked. Golden Corral? Didn't you? I f- that why Here is that the only the, thing you? The, the, no, the I would never history say is Corral being sucks. rewritten as we speak. I everyone. love Golden Corral. You love it's it? Southern food? Yes, yeah, Southern buffet. Oh, well, let's go then. You just said no. Yeah, you said. That's well, a, that's I mean, when you line. when you say Southern buffet, it sounds way more appetizing than just let's go to a buffet. Nah, let's look see at- May fifth. This is the fit right here. Yeah. That's for your birthday. We that, went to Golden Corral. Yeah, I think See? I took a picture with you. That's Golden Corral. It's crazy when the receipts come out. Term looks different. Hey, man. It was for your birthday, right? Let, yeah, let's, before we start talking about food, let's get through the show. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think we're pretty... Through, All pretty, right. Yeah. No, what is this? Checking luggage size... Well, I guess if you want to talk about that, man. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was interesting. Okay, so this is, you want to talk about rigmarole, right? So I ordered some, I ordered a carry-on luggage. Okay. And I realized, and then I, and then I, I, I checked the, the size dimensions for Air Canada, and it was just off by like an inch. They were anti-Drake. Yeah, but, um, so then I, I ordered it thinking like, oh, I'm good, man. They're not, it's an inch, and I even know the difference, right? So... A day later, I'm like, let me just check the reviews about Air Canada. They said they're real strict with the luggage. They, they make you put in the sizer and stuff. So I put the the luggage that I ordered. Shout out to Shay Mitchell. I got a, a Bay's a Bay's luggage carry on joint. And um, dude, the, like people were saying that they went, they had to check it in every single time. And the whole point I got to carry on was to not check in my stuff because I don't want to have to wait when I get to Korea. I mm-hmm. want to get off the plane and get on the bullet train and head to. Mm-hmm. Busan. It's a hard casing? Hard casing, yeah. So when I got it, I'm like, I'm going to go try it for myself. So I drove all the way to the airport, didn't have a flight, oh my God. pulled up to Air Canada. With an empty bag? With an empty, with my empty luggage that I had bought, and I fit it inside the sizer. And, and, it fit. and then I looked at the guy and the lady. I was like, yo, is this good? 
And they're like, yeah, it fits in there as long as you don't have to push it down. And I was like, well, I, I, I had to put it in there. It didn't just fall in there. I had to put it in there. And I, I was like, but it fits. And she's like, yeah. And then I was like, so you guys aren't, aren't going to like penalize. How much does that cost? Like, like carry ons is complimentary check in if we have to check in in at the gate. And they're like, the guy was like, if you're boarding group four or five, we have to check in your bag anyway. So yeah. I was like, all right, never mind. I'm not going to go through the rigmarole and try to return this and then get the different size. You got to check it in anyways. Yeah, I'm going to end up checking it anyway. So. You're four and five? Four I don't five. know. We're going to find out. Wait, why are they making people just because you're in that boarding zone, you have to check it in? Because they, they, they normally anymore. yeah, they normally don't have any more space. Yeah, because people you know travel with like six carry-ons. They don't think about other people. And they got six fucking carry-ons going up like, instead of checking it in. If you well, fly typically- like that, bro... I don't think anybody's bringing we'll six carry ons. We'll I just There's think it's just limited, just limited space, bro. Trust me, it's just limited space. I thought the structure of an airplane is to fit one carry on per passenger. Isn't that? To, yeah. yeah, but you know, some people put backpacks up there sometimes. But yeah. nobody, it's not. It's not like they're regularly like this can go up there. And but sometimes they do. But your personal items should go un- in front of you if the if people need the space up there. Yeah, hundred percent. So yeah, so I did the I, I went through the whole process. That's crazy. You paid for yeah. parking. You went all the way to the airport just to put it in that in that metal thing. Yeah, just to make sure it fit. And, and then, then they told there. you you're gonna check it in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if I wouldn't have gone, I wouldn't have known. So you know me, man. I, I hate stressing at the airport. I like to make sure I'm good. There's no issues. If you're having a hard time getting through customs and Drake calls and gets you in, are you are you taking that offer? You could take the offer and still not like his music, though. Yeah. No, I mean, or you know, you just getting help from someone. Yeah, somebody, some fr- some friendly neighbor. Might be friendlier with other neighbors though. Younger ones too. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I did, man. Checking the luggage before I had to actually fly. That's a lot of maneuvering, dude. But you- why is it lying on their website then? That's messed up. What do you mean? About this is the size that we accept and then you went and it said that it was or that it fit yeah uh so like you the way you do it you have to put the wheels in first and slide it in and it fits perfect but if you were to just go like that it won't fit yeah Yeah. you know what i think i would get one of those like scooter i know i was talking shit about like scooter backpacks Mm -hmm. or like slidey backpacks yeah but like the slidey suitcase joints the scooter suitcases you guys have seen those yeah a scooter suitcase joint. Yeah, like you like, you know how like when you break your leg, you kind of get like a scooter to like. Oh yeah, it looks like that. On. Yeah, it's kind of like. Oh that. shit! I didn't even know that. Yeah, it looks like one of those things at the mall that they ride like an elephant or something. Oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get one of those. I could see you doing that. Yeah, I thought you guys were gonna agree with me. No, nah, I don't think I could get myself to do that. Yeah, I'm not scooting around with, like, sitting on my luggage, scooting around. Yeah, that'd be. Weird. No, I'm not. You're not sitting on it. It's like your your knees on it. Yeah, I'm not walking around like I tore my ACL. <laughs> I'm good, bro. I'll use both of my legs. I'll probably get around faster. You guys, you'll do anything you, to just not have to use your body, huh? Whatever you got to do to not use your body. <laughs> did you run the other day? Yeah. Oh, you did. What other day? Besides the first, the first run, did you? No. Well, did you have anything on the plan to do? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you did. Yeah. Bro, you already skipping runs. Yeah, things happen, bro. Nah. Mother's Day happens. It was not birthday. All happens. day. It wasn't Mother's Day all day. I ran before Mother's Day, bro. We were hanging out from like, well, I was uh, doing errands and stuff from like ten. I ran at eight. I ran at seven thirty a.m. Let them know. And I had errands at ten. Let them know. How many runs have you skipped so far? Two. Bro, you you're, right now you're only running like point seven. It it that will literally take eight minutes. You you said it took eight minutes. Yeah, I did. You don't have eight minutes. You could do it in your sandals. No, I'm, I'm I'm so busy, dude. You know what it is, dude. You you need a you need. I I think you would really benefit from a coach. Nah, man. All you have to do is run around your apartment complex one lap. And that's point seven. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I do need. Uh, maybe I do need a coach, man. I need someone to tell me that was a good play and slap my ass. Yeah, I'll do that. If no, you run it, needs, 7, it needs to be. Some, it needs to be somebody that he doesn't know. That's the only way people get to work, bro. Nah, man. 
Yeah. You wouldn't take drills from this guy, AO? No, I'm saying <laughs> if you had a coach. See you guys next week, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.